grade 7 math number 13.3c, what are probability distributions? Well, because this is a 7th grade math video, we're not going to delve deeply into the topic of distributions, but we'll make a brief overall explanation that will hopefully help you. A probability distribution is an equation or a table that connects each outcome with the probability of it happening. So here's a table of, we flipped a coin a couple times, it's the table of distribution for a variable x, and this is the probability distribution right here. It's the probability of what will happen, okay? Now, there's binomial distributions, and that's pretty much what we've been doing in all of our videos so far. There's two outcomes. We flip a coin to get heads or tails, or we find out if it's yes or no, or if it lands on blue or not blue. So those two outcomes are binomial distributions. See how the word begins with bi? Like bicycle, like a two-wheel bike. Bi is the prefix for two. So it's two outcomes. There's discrete distributions. Binomial distributions are considered discrete ones. And they take a particular value like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 on a number cube, on a die. And the random variables are separate and distinct from each other. Uniform distribution is when each outcome is equally likely. Like when we roll that die, each one of these numbers has a 1 out of 6 chance of coming up on the die, doesn't it? So that's uniform. They all have the same probability. Then there's continuous distribution. And the random variables are continuous, and they take any value within a range of values, like someone's weight or height, like a group of people's weight or height. And the range can be quite large or infinite, and the values are continuous and not countable. So probability of a single point is zero, it's null. They're described as density instead of probability. So it'd be like the height of middle school students. Here it's the most dense, it's the thickest and most dense between 5 foot 4 and 5 foot 6. So that would tell you the probability of the height of middle school students would be 5 foot 4 to 5 foot 6. And it doesn't pinpoint any particular height. It doesn't say that it's 5 foot 5 and 3 tenths. It just says that it's in this range is the most. See? So that would be continuous distribution. Okay? So I know it seems very glossed over if you're an older student watching this, but it's meant for a 7th grade student to just give them a little taste of what the distributions are. And I hope this was helpful. I hope it shed some light on the topic, and I will see you in the next video. We're going to talk about using technology to conduct a simulation, and it's our last chapter. It's our last unit. I'll see you there. Bye.